Hey everybody, this is Poker Sanctuary 2000 and welcome back to more Pokemon Sega Gold Storm Silver. And um, there's one thing that I want to show my team. I actually evolved two of my Pokemon. And one's gonna be Raptor. And uh, yeah, this is the um the po the my 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 to my um Croconaw evolved because I actually um did a battle against um use um what's this Morty just to try things and I got my butt whooped really quick so what I did is I we trained and I, I fought these trainers um, off screen because that battle is really tough so I I don't know I I, I did a I did a, like a I did like a you know like a, like a special training yeah not really um I did some training. Uh, you know the the uh, grass south of this route. That is right, so let's actually use Phantom and talk to you. Scene. It's good to have you come here. And you said the rainbow power Pokemon would be that tail. All I have securely trained all in my life. As a result, I can sound see what others cannot. I see a shadow of a person. Make Pokemon appear. I believe that person is me. You're gonna help me reach that level. All right. So we're gonna fight you, Scene, for the second time because I lost the first recording. And I actually lost the battle there, so I don't want to show you guys me blocking out, so... Alright, so, that was the second blackout in uh, in this game, so let's actually use a Shadow Sneak here. And now we're at level 30, I think we're going to do more damage. Really hope so, really hope that's the case. And it is, so Dust School goes down, and next up is going to be Gengar... Oh, no, wait, so next up is going to be Sableye. Um... This battle is very tough. I, I did it. I, it's very tough. Now let's switch to Roshi that evolved last um, when I was doing that recording. So let's use an earthquake here and see how much that can do. Really hope that can that knocks it out. It doesn't. Yeah, it's good. It's good. There it is. All right, I have really good defenses. So there you go. Oh my God, you took a. Cut. I'm gonna use a hyper potion. So let's use a bite and an earthquake here. I hope I can take this out. Oh, right, let's use another earthquake. Can't use two moves too much in a row. Alright, let's use a cut. Take it out. Boom. Yes. Roshi's all over now. Alright, next up is going to be Shuppet. So let's actually stay in here. Gengar was very tough. I just, I can beat the other Pokemon. It just cannot beat that Gengar. I'm sorry. I just can't. That Gengar was the hardest Pokemon I've ever seen. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Right, let's actually switch. Let's go. Let's go. Raptor, or oh, newly evolved, newly evolved Pokemon, and I avoided. Let's use a Shadow Claw on the uh, Shuppet here. Hope I can take it out in one hit. Thank you. And then now, next up is gonna be that Gengar though. Oh, uh, let's actually switch to Roshi. Um, I don't think you have an Ice type move. If you do, I'll get screwed. But if you don't, I'll be fine. That's the Shadow. Okay, there you go. It took it pretty darn well. Alright. I'm gonna use another sh uh, super potion, but I don't want to die. That did. Okay, I think I could probably take another one. So let's use a bite and don't lower my special defense. That would be great. Thank you. Alright, and a bite did way more than half damage. So, yeah, I, I really, I, I'm really glad that I did that special training. So. Uh, don't kill me. I really hope you don't kill me. This is just like really tedious situation where I'm just spamming healing items and he is doing random crap. <laughs> don't. The the one the one reason that he'll screw me over is that he will lower my special defense. We really don't want that to happen because if it did, if it does, oh, it's weird. that's just just a thing. This game. If I get screwed, I lose. Bro. Lose everything. All right. Okay, there you go. All right. Status sealers. I already have super potions. And that's what I'm supposed to have this early in the game, I guess. So he's gonna use that other super shadow ball here. And let's use a bite. Finish it off. Thank you. No missed. All right. So Gengar goes down. Oh my God. That was hard. All right. So next up is gonna be Mistrevis. So let's actually switch the Raptor here. Oh my god, that's just fun. Alright. 
So yeah, Raptor was a crocodile last episode, but it's in uh, for alligator now, which means Shadow Claw will knock it out with a critical hit. All right. All right. So next up is going to be Haunter. So let's actually stay in here. I don't think Haunter is not as threatening. Wait, I have Crunch now, which is way more powerful than Bite. So let's actually try this Crunch. Boom! All right, let's use a Crunch and see how much that can do. Yes, one hit kill. All right, so our um, Morty wasn't tough at all because I evolved my Pokemon. First of all, I don't think it presents us. I mean, so different, but you seem to have something more than that. So beat this match is yours. So I released the Fog Bash from Morty, and by having that Fog Bash, it will. Um, It will, uh, let a Pokemon level 50 me. And that kimono girls were talking about me, and you said, never mind. Alright, so we have a lot of time, because I did a lot of off-screen stuff. So let's actually go towards our next city. Um, we didn't, I didn't really expect that to do happen. But I guess it will, because I'm doing this, ep this episode. Alright. Now, thank God that Battle Against Morty is now out of the way, which means we can actually do some s other stuff um, regarding... So, let's actually backtrack back to Goldenrod City, because now you can actually get a free Pokemon. But, I'm not really gonna get it, because Cast Form is an awful Pokemon. It is really bad. Alright. So, it's, let's actually go towards West. Oh, um, and Steven Stone! Oh my god, really? You wouldn't happen to be welcome, would you? Oh, sorry, I won't introduce myself. My name is Steven, I'm the champion of the Hoenn region. Cynthia told me about a young trainer who seemed different from the rest. I can see what she meant immediately. Oh, really? Okay, I'm um, Steven. Alright, um, ahem! Do you remember the story about the legendary trainer that Cynthia told you? Another part of that story involves the collection of plates special items that resonate with the Pokemon God, Arceus. It says that there are 16 in total, and they are scattered across the Choto and Kanto regions, as well as very far north. Each plate represents an element, fire, water, electric, and steel, that can be found anywhere. In the modern age, it will probably be either held by enthusiasts, buried in the ground, or even just picked up by random people. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if one had ended up in a bit of research lab. How would I know these plates exist? Because I already located one. This is the iron plate, the plate that represents the element of steel. I would like to leave it in your capable hands. However, I can give your Pokemon a smut boost to one of some of their moves, too. So it would be helpful. Here, don't drop it! <laughs> I, I love how you just said don't drop it in the area. Alright, so, it makes the legend true. Oh, a nice seating move, but until we cross paths again, this is goodbye. Alright. So, um, we can actually talk to this guy. Why did you take we your phone? We bought a town there, but why not? I was there. I'm going to get that. Alright, so. That's actually. Oh, we glitch marks again. Yay! Let's fight random trainers, I guess. I don't know. Let's see what we can catch here. Magnemite? Yeah, whatever. I don't know. I don't think you can't escape from that. Alright, so maybe I'll um, leave it here in the next episode. We would be going to our next town. Um, Olivine City, and this video is very short because I did some off-screen stuff. But I have some downtime, it's actually talking to random people. What makes a slow Pokemon move before a quick Pokemon? Why, a trick room, of course, and you'll get TM92. Alright, so maybe we'll just do some last minute explorations around this town. You know, I really can't explore things around here. I can take a historical city. Okay, so, um, I don't know, we, we can probably go to the Mart. You can't go, um, you can't go east because these guys are like, Have you heard about the aggressive Pokemon living around the mountain that become? It's unbelievable. I need to conduct more research. Have you heard about the advantage of the legendary trainer mythology? It's unbelievable. 
So apparently something happened, and yeah. All right. So in the next part, we would be. One second, this is no research yet. So you can join me. Nope. And the next part, we are actually going towards the next old city, Olivine City, and we'll be turning on the GV sounds. Goodbye.